Hey everyone, MTAS here, and today I wanted to talk about what you should be buying from Xur this week. Number one is the Merciless. You need to buy the Merciless. Please, if you only have a few shards, you don't have a lot of time to play, buy the Merciless. This is an absolute damage dealing monster. I've done an exotic review of this weapon. The Merciless is fantastic, and you need to pick it up. It's kind of like the Galahorn of uh, of Destiny 1 at this point. There might be something better long term, but for right now, the Merciless is fantastic. Conserve momentum makes every non-lethal hit speed up your charge time to the point that you shoot this thing extremely fast. And if you look at the damage dealt in this raid, True Vanguard and I are the only people that are using the uh, the Merciless, and we're out damaging everyone by like 300,000 damage. KJ Hovey's keeping up because he's amazing at the game, but the Merciless is one of the best DPS weapons in the game. Also, you can use it on all three of your classes, so it instantly has more value. You're doing a strike on your Hunter, Merciless. You're doing it on your Warlock, Merciless. Doing it on your Titan, Merciless. Okay, you thought I was going to yell there, but I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to yell. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. So, the Merciless is my number one pick, especially if you don't have a bunch of shards. If you're a hunter, Raiden Flux is a fantastic Arc Strider exotic. Synapse Junctions allows you to quickly attack your opponent, dealing more and more damage, and extending the duration. If you're doing the Nightfall and the Arc Burn is on, you can melt the bosses with this. If you're just killing a bunch of enemies, it's still fantastic, but Synapse Junctions is really good for arc burn when you're killing bosses. Uh, we were able to melt uh, the Nightfall boss in like a matter of seconds using this on three hunters. We killed him so fast, so easily, uh, for both Nightfalls actually, so I definitely recommend Raiden Flux. And then the Doomfang Pauldrons. I've already done a review on this one as well. The Doomfang Pauldrons are one of the best Sentinel Titan exotics. Xur is honestly hitting us up with some crazy good exotics. If you like to throw shields, Horns of Doom allows you to throw a ton of shields. Five, six shields constantly as a Sentinel Titan. And then when you don't have your super, every time you melee something, you get a little bit of super charge back. So you get that super faster. Doomfang Pauldrons are a top tier sentinel. So there's the Merciless, there's the Raiden Flux, there's the Doomfang Pauldron. All of these are huge pickups for you. And then there's Wings of Sacred Dawn, which is one of the worst Warlock exotics in the game. It only works on Dawn Blade, and it doesn't bring a lot of value. When you aim down sights, it keeps you floating in the air, and precision hits extend that duration. So unless you're going for some flying snipes, this doesn't really help you and it keeps you up in the air exposed to dying. Same thing with PvE. It doesn't really do much other than keep you exposed and you're gonna die. So don't use the Tome of Dawn. I really don't recommend it. The only time I would recommend buying this is if it's a big power level boost for your Warlock. Other than that, don't touch it. So that's it, guys. If you're low on resources, Focus on getting the Merciless. It has the most value for all three characters. Raiden Flux, as well as the Doomfang Pauldrons, are both great pickups for your Hunter and your Titan, respectively. And then there's the, the Wings of Sacred Dawn. Don't touch them. They're just not worth it. They're just not worth it. Now, before we go, could we just question, Zer, why are you twitching so much? What is wrong with you? You need to relax, buddy. Anyways, that's it from me, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.